my dear friends, so this is Jordi from Premier Basics and he created this video a couple of years ago. Scrolling through my inspirational video ideas, I came across this. Right away, I then started looking for the most few tutorial in a specific cinematic topic of video editing. Now my dear friends, bear in mind that there are a lot of tools that were used to create these cinematic titles to which of course I don't have access to from the fact that I'm using Filmora and this tutorial was made using Premiere Pro. But I will do it my own Filmora way and by the end of this video I'm going to present the preview to you and you are not going to find any difference. Let's get started. Well, my dear friends, so the very first thing for you right here is to add a quick default text. Now after that, go to this option right here, which is the advanced. So right here, we need to customize some of the things here. And here for the text, my dear friends, of course, I am going to write the mist. The following thing right here is to change the font. So I'll choose this one right here. Actually, these are some of the cinematic fonts uh, choices that we have in Wondershare a few more. So you can go ahead and check them out if you want to do these kind of videos. And the size to something like 34 or 36, okay? And of course, one more important thing is to do the spacing, all right? And this we will do. Well, my dear friends, so I think this is all I need here and then I go ahead and hit apply. Now moving on to the very second step, my dear friend. Now you have to make sure that you don't skip this video around or else you're going to miss some of the very, very important things, okay? Now right select your titles here and then use this option right here to make it a compound clip, okay? Or else you can use Alt and G as keyboard shortcuts, okay? And of course right here it's very good for you to name your, your compound clips so that you won't get confused along the way, alright? Now that you have a compound clip, on the property side, which is the property step, in this instance, if you are using this layout, it will be on the right side of your preview screen, but if you are using other layouts, it, it always go different, all right? So right here on the properties here, you're gonna, under the transform tab, you are going to see this option right here, which is uh, uh, the flipping option, all right? So you are going to use this second option right here to flip your compound clip. Now your text is going to be looking like this, as you can see on the preview screen right here. And now just after you have done that, go ahead to the effects tab right here and then search for the mirror flip. Drag it on the track that is on top of your common clip, alright? So you don't have to try to apply it directly onto the common clip. Okay, that is not going to work in the couple of steps that we are going to go through, alright? So make sure your mirror effect is on the track above. And right here, I can adjust it to, to, to fit the duration of, the, the, of my common clip. Alright, so this is the last thing for you to do right here before we move on to the third stage, alright? So let's do it. Select your command clip and then go to the transform tab. Now you add a keyframe on the very first frame, alright? And right here on the keyframe properties, right on the, uh, the, the Y position here, I'm going to increase uh, the, 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 the figures here to something like... Uh, page 7, alright? So as you can see on the previous screen, how it's looking right now, alright? Move your player to the very frame that you want the duration of the animation to be, alright? So like in this case right here, let me just say uh, right here, okay? And again, you go to the Y position here and then reduce it in this way. So basically right here we have uh, something like uh, this animation here, alright? And now my dear friend, you have to open the keyframing panel here and then on the last keyframe, you gotta select it here, all these keyframes representing this last keyframe, okay? Then you select this option right here and then ease these ones out, okay? Now, you don't temper around with the first ones, leave them like that. You just have to ease out the last keyframe, okay? Alright, my dear friends, now we are done on the second stage. Let's move on to the third. Now, you have to select these two and again, make a compound clip, okay? Well, my dear friends, now that you've created the second compound clip, for better customizations, you have to drag down the video that you are going to use. 
uh, as the background video, all right? And in this case here, only because I'm trying to, to replicate the Premiere Basics video, it, I was trying to get this kind of a video right here to put my own text here, but I couldn't find it on story blogs. So for this very short example, I have decided to take just a screenshot of this and then use it for this point, all right? So I'm going to drag this screenshot onto the track below my compound clip, all right? Now you have to select your compound clip and then on the property side, increase the Y position to something like 60. Now here is the trickier part, okay? You got to find a frame on which the animation is stopping it, all right? And then you add a marker right there. So like in this case right here, my marker is right here. But if you are not sure, you can just double select this compound clip right here. And then when it opens up, it shows you exactly where this keyframe should be. So in this case right here, my dear friends, you just have to make sure that you move your keyframe to this right position, all right? And then move back to the main timeline, all right? So right now, move your playhead to the very first frame. And right here, you are going to need a guide. Well, this is what I mean. From the preview screen, drag down a straight horizontal line here that you are going to use as a guide or as a ruler, okay? And now after that, add a face keyframe onto your compound clip. And now on the frame that you have marked, you are now supposed to bring down the compound clip aligned to this horizontal guide here, okay? So as you can see right here, my dear friend, this is very, very simple, okay? When I reduce the Y position here, the whole text is going downwards, okay? So you pull it down to align with the horizontal guide again. So you just have to make sure that it's the same as the very first keyframe, okay? Like in this way here. And the reason for this, my dear friend, is very simple. When your title animates, it doesn't have to go upwards, but you have to bring the reflection downwards. You understand? Well, what you need to do again here is that on this last keyframe here, again, go to the keyframing panel and then ease these keyframes out. And as you can see, when it moves here, only you have to animate downwards, okay? Well, my dear friends, only two simple things so that we can have this video done here, all right? So the very first thing right here is to go to the effects tab and then right here, you search for the uh, the depth blur, all right? So when you find it over here, we have to bring it down, all right? Okay, so right now I think I can just uh, disable the, the, the ruler, the guys, okay? Now having your blur selected over here, go to this option right here, is so that you can use the mask of your blur, okay? And right here, select this one, which is the custom, okay? So as you can see right here from my preview screen, you are going to select in this way, Increase the blur strength to something like 10, okay? Now we are done with the blur, only have one final step so that we can have this thing done, all right? Select your command clip and then go to masks. And then right here, select to use this draw mask here, okay? And then right here from the preview screen, you select it this way. Also increase the blur strength to something like 6 or 7. And that, my friend, is how you create your cinematic title reveal. Well, my dear friends, thank you so much if you have watched this video to this very point. That means a lot to me. And you can check out one of those two videos on the screen right now and I'll meet you there.